Hey there, geeks and gets. I've got me some stuff, including a mystery box from a fan. Hmm. So on the thumbnail, you will have seen uh, a guy called Chintzy Gamer. He commented on a lot of my stuff. He commented on the live stream. And then it turned out I actually know the guy really well. I used to work with him many moons ago. And he contacted me before, obviously, lockdown. and said, I've got a box of stuff um, that I've had in mystery boxes. And do you want it? Of course, I said, yeah. So um, I haven't looked in this. I've got no idea what's in it. But I know that he does subscribe to a few mystery boxes and he's done his first mystery box unboxing on his channel. I will leave a link for him down in the description below. So I'll open this up and thank you very much, Adam. He also messaged me after he dropped it off and he dropped it off, you know, in compliance. He dropped it on the doorstep and then walked back. Um, he said he messaged me afterwards to say there's an item in here he knew what I was after and it is actually part of his collection and he's given it to me anyway. So I have no idea what that could be. So as always, you guys will get the first look. It's quite weighty. Oh, I've seen exactly what he was on about. I've been collecting these DC bombshells figures and I've said the last one I wanted to get was the Joker. We've got Harley Quinn now. Yeah, I've got Harley Quinn. So the last one I needed is the Joker, apart from, I think there's a Chase edition or a limited edition Batgirl. And he's put the DC Bombshells Joker in. That is awesome of him. I stopped buying the tins because I ended up with about 12 Power Girls, but that's awesome. He will go with the rest of them. Next up is an Eagle Moss Silurian Warrior Cold Blood from Doctor Who. This is from when Matt Smith was the Doctor. As everyone knows, I'm not the biggest fan of Eagle Moss figurines when they do humans, but this, not being human, actually looks decent. And I did keep my Matt Smith Eagle Moss statue in the end. That is outstanding for Eagle Moss. There's a great facial sculpt, great painting apps, the weathered paint on the, the weapon look cool, the armour. That is actually outstanding for Eagle Moss. So he will go on my Doctor Who shelf. I'm not going to do it now. I've got a bubble wrapped item, which feels like a mug. Everyone complains when they get mugs in mystery boxes, and I love them because I love my geeky mugs, and I drink a lot of coffee. Oh. Awesome. So there's two Joker things in this box. On my video, the video I've just put up today, which will be yesterday when I release this. Yeah. I actually said about Joker being my favorite villain, not just from Batman, but from any comic book. And there is an awesome Joker mug. And it'll come in even more handy now, because my stepson smashed my Avengers mug. Next out is a pin badge. I think that's Minnie Mouse Mickey, the true original mini enamel pin badge. 90 years of Disney, but look at that. I've said before, I'm not um, a huge Disney collector or fan. But I do have a few Disney Funko Pops. I've got Buzz Lightyear and I've got Mufasa from The Lion King. And I'll probably keep this anyway just because it's a 90, 
not just because it's the 90 years, but because obviously when somebody goes out with the weight to give you something for your channel, to me that, that means a lot and I'll keep that, like I keep letters off uh, subscribers or letters off people I've won competitions or the Christmas giveaways, what have you. Next up is uh, Backwards Winnie the Pooh. Walmart exclusive, I saw Geeky Heathen unbox this a while ago. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. I, I quite like that. Um, I would say don't collect orbs, but I've got four of them up there. I've got two Marvel, a Predator, and a Pennywise. I'm glad I've just noticed I got Predator because I nearly bought that on B&M the other day. So yeah, so another Dorbs, and it, it is a Walgreens exclusive Dorbs, number 449. And there's the boring shit on the bottom, just for everyone that keeps shouting at me when I don't do it. We need the poo with honey, Walgreens exclusive. That's, um, that's pretty awesome actually. I don't have many sort of, I don't think any of those are exclusive up there. Actually my Pennywise, I'm totally shit now. So yeah, I've got three Walgreen exclusive daubs up there. So that'll go in with the collection either way. So next up is a Joker from the Suicide Squad minifigure or mini pops or mystery minis. It's got his tattoo designs on there, his Arkham tracksuit bottoms, his facial tattoos, his metal grill teeth. It's quite detailed for one of these, and I've got. Have I got dead shot? I think I've got a dead shot one of these. And there's another one, and it is Randall Flag. From the Suicide Squad, Rick Flag, Randall Flag is from the stand, and that's in my head because I've just started watching Homeland, and the guy that plays Randall Flag in the stand is in there, and there it is, my loose connection to Rick Flag. Wow, am I waffling? So there is Rick Flag from the Suicide Squad mystery minis. I've got another one somewhere. I can't see him, but I've, I've got shelves behind. Full of mystery minifigures. Um, this is awesome. And it is one more item. Oh, I like that. I'm going to have to take it out of the packaging because of the, the light glare. It is a Joker walking out of Arkham Asylum, Mouse Mat. I can't remember which comic that is, but I know I've read it. That is awesome. Now, I don't have a computer that I need a mouse mat for, but I've got about three different Walking Dead mouse mats up there. So this will go on a shelf somewhere, definitely, because I like the artwork on it. I just gotta find a home for it. So, um, Chinchy Gamer, or Adam as I know him, thank you very much. That that was awesome. Um, I really, really appreciate you giving me that joke, uh, Mystery Mini. I was wondering what you're on about when you said there's something in there that I know you want. And I'm like, well, there's loads I want, but it's something I need to complete the collection. And I'm like, still a lot but yeah great absolutely brilliant thank you very much that means a lot so guys there you go there was a definitely a fan mail i would say fan mail mystery box twin box some stuff that he didn't want in his collection but it's definitely well appreciated and going to a good home here so please like comment share and subscribe also check out chinchy gamer i'll leave a link in the description down below add him he's only had his channel for two weeks and he's at 35 i think subscribers 
So let's help him along. He does a lot of gaming more than anything, but he is starting to unbox his mystery boxes. So I've been the Beer the Geek. That was an awesome little haul. I'm quite happy with that. I will see you again for another review or unboxing. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.